they are what are credit unions they are not for profit um cooperative structures uh, they are member owned member controlled um they operate across what's called a common bond often that common bond is geographic uh but it could be a community of place or interest so you could have you know and do have nhs credit unions police credit unions taxi driver credit unions as well as communities uh like you know glasgow where there will be 30 plus credit unions across small postcode areas of glasgow you know you know in in particular or indeed the southwest um of england so they whatever they are they are they have four similar core objects what are those they promote thrift that's different from savings uh, they promote thrift they train and educate members in the wise use of their money they use their members' savings, uh, their deposits for mutual benefit, and they create sources of credit um, at a fair and a reasonable rate. And what are those fair and reasonable rates? Um, they are price capped. So the credit unions in, in Britain, in England, Scotland, and Wales are price capped at 3% per month on a reducing balance. That's 42.6% APR maximum. Cannot exceed that under any circumstances. Can't add on admin fees to exceed that. That is the maximum amount that they can charge for lending. So these are asset locked mutuals with limited investment areas themselves. Can't, you know, uh, James there and can't, can't put all of his money into more speculative stuff. Uh, they can offer dividends uh, and or they could offer interest bearing shares to members. Um, and as I say, they come in all shapes and sizes. There is a long tail of very small credit unions and there is a very small number of very large credit unions. They're regulated, obviously. They're regulated by the FCA, by the PRA. Uh, the money is perfectly safe. Financial services compensation scheme operates. Uh, all deposits are protected. Um, and essentially, they offer, in my view, a sort of limited number of loan products. A handful of credit unions, bigger ones, offer mortgages. But in the main, these are unsecured uh, loans. Maria Ball, members are on lower incomes. And the cost of essentials has risen much faster and higher than uh, price rises more generally, even though they've been pretty, uh, uh, amazingly high as well. So we've already seen the uh, issues with members being able to afford to repay loans grow to some extent. But what we've done is really set up a, a team to support them within the credit union, our member support team. And that team helps members who are struggling with their loan repayments using a range of different approaches. So for example, offering payment holidays where people are particularly struggling, restructuring loans so that people can maintain a positive relationship and they can maintain their access to credit, which is really important for folks when the small sum credit market as a whole has been shrinking, as Brian said. Um, and it really, I think the, the feedback we've had from being able to support people through the challenges that they're facing at these difficult times has been amazing. You can really value the fact that somebody's there to look after them uh, and to help them as much as we're able to.